at the Royal Lund Hospital, I found another Fizz and Cluck twin lift. Let's ride it. I'm in the upper car and if you look down, you can see the doors opening in the lower car. And this lift has a really annoying beep, which is actually how I could tell it was a twin lift as the lower car doesn't have a beep. Right, let's go. Come on. Oh, the lower car's actually coming upwards, so this one can't move. And a minute later, looking down the shaft, you can see the lower car is actually higher than it was. Right, and now it's closing its doors, so we can now start moving. Right, let's go. Oh, come on. Yes, finally, we're off. so annoying beep these lifts go from the ground floor to the 15th floor there is no basement so i wonder what's going to happen to the lower car when this one goes to the ground floor well you'll find out later ground floor right here we are at the ground floor and i wonder what's happened to the lower car remember there's no basement here right that's the upper car now going Let's try to get in the lower car. Right, let's try and call another lift. Let's go to floor one. No, 5D, I was in 5C. Come on, I want 5C. This time lucky, come on. And yes, 5C. Now, none of the other people waiting for a lift noticed a 5C just left. So how comes 5C's opened already? They don't realise it's a twin lift. And if you look up, you can see the upper car with the doors closing on another floor. Right, let's go. I'm in the lower car now. Now, I really don't like a way of trying to disguise that this is a twin lift. I try and make people think it's a normal lift, probably not to scare them, but I think it's wrong. I think I should say it's a twin lift because it's such a good Level piece of technology. Four. And here at floor four. Door and open. let's look up and just about to see the upper car closing this its doors again. And if you up. listen really carefully, you can actually hear the beep of the upper car, and that's how you can tell how far away it is. Right, now let's move on. I'm still in the lower car, going up. And I'm going all the way to floor 14 this time. Now let's listen out for the beat of the upper car so you can tell how far away it is. Level 14. Door opening. And the upper car is above and those doors are shut so you can't really see very much, just a little bit of light. Doors closing. Right, let's go down. No, a lift didn't move. Okay, need to get out, press the button on the outside. Right, now I'm going down to the ground floor. Doors closing. Now, I wonder what happens when the lift above wants to go to the ground floor. We'll shortly find out. Ground floor. Door open. And a minute later, the lift above is on a few floors above and it wants to go to the ground floor. Door now it's time to find out what's going to happen to the lower car. And I'm going down. And the display went blank. And the lift stopped. And it's not opening its doors because there is no basement. I'm in some sort of undercroft where the lift stops, but it can't open its doors. And I press door open, and, oh, it's lit up. It knows I'm in here now. And, but it's still not opening its doors because there's no door here. I'm trapped. But it has lit up with an arrow to say that it knows I'm in here. So it's going up to the ground floor in a moment. If he wouldn't lift above me, hold the doors open, I'll be trapped down here. But luckily, the lift's now moving upwards. Ground floor. Here I am back at ground floor again. I wonder how many people have been really freaked out by this. And a few minutes later, I'm on the 10th floor, and once again, the lift above me, the upper car, wants to go to the ground floor. Let's see what happens this time. Doors closing. Oh dear, doors are a bit stuck. Oh dear. Right, we're now off on floor 10, going down.
Oh, none stopped the undercroft this time. Oh dear, I wonder how many people have been freaked out by this. It's quite scary if you don't realise it's a twin lift, which they are actually trying to make you think it isn't a twin lift. So it must, must really scare people. And you can just about hear the lift above. Right, press to open to tell the lift that I'm in here. So we'll go back to ground in a moment. And if you look through the door, you can sort of just about make out a ladder outside the door here so I can access the lift pit. This is so weird, there's no announcements. There should be an announcement to tell you what's going on. There isn't. This must be so scary if you don't ground know. Floor. Right, we're now going back up to the ground floor. Door opening. And now, let's try to get the upper car again, the annoying beeping one. A few minutes later, I'm now on the second floor, and I'm in the upper car, and there's the lower car on the ground floor. Right, let's go. Oh, but annoying beep, so annoying. We're going up, I haven't pressed any floors on the outside, so I wonder where we'll go. Floor six. Open. Let's look down. Can't see it hasn't opened its doors yet. You can see the other lift on the other side going past. And you can see the lower car now opening its doors. Right. Oh, closing its doors in. It's giving me a different lift. That's because the lower car wants to go upwards, so this one can't be a one set for going down. So, rather than going in the lift I chose, let's stay in this one and see where I go. Once again, the display's gone blank. I've gone beyond floor 15. Wow, this lift's got so many secret floors. This is so weird. Well, this is a bit... This is, this is creepy, this is. Right, let's press door open to tell the lift I'm in here. And it's now going down to the nearest floor, floor 15. I didn't go very far. But I'm in floor 15, which is actually a locked off floor. And you can see the lift below me. But the lift below still wants to go upwards. Looks like I'm going back into the roof again. This is so weird. Right, but this lift is only going a very short way. It's actually only going a metre. Because the lift below wants to go to the 14th floor. And as the floors are close together, it can't go to the 14th floor. Well, this one's on the 15th floor. So it has to go up a metre to allow it to go to the 14th floor. And you can just about see through the doors. The mark where the top of the 15th floor door is. Because I've only gone a metre. This is just so weird, there's no announcements about this. People aren't actually meant to be in a lift at this point because it only does this if you haven't pressed the button on the outside and you get in. But some people do this because they don't realise you're meant to press the floor before you get in. But still, it's very weird. It must really scare people. Level 15. And now here I am, back at 15. Open. 